Hey everyone, welcome to the Coding for Kids YouTube channel. So today we're going to be coding a uh, guess the number game. So basically, Java is going to have a predetermined number and it's the user's job to guess that number. If the user guess, guesses too low, Java is going to tell them to guess higher. And if the user guesses too high, Java is going to tell them to guess lower. So let's get started. So the hard part about this game is that we have to code user input. Basically, tell the code to accept a number that the user gives it. So in order to do that, we have to import a scanner file. So this is what that looks like. Import java.util.scanner. So basically, sometimes Java doesn't, sometimes you can't code things in Java because they're just too complicated. So in times like those, you have to import things from the Java library. And this is one of those times. The scanner class, there's no way we can code it. It's too complicated. So therefore, we have to import it from a pre-coded library. OK, so first we have to make our class because that's where all our code exists. So we're going to type in class main. OK, we have to put curly braces, and then we have to create the main method. So the main method is public static void main. So this is what that looks like. Pub main, and then string brackets args. OK, now we have to make a predetermined number. That's the number that the user is trying to guess. So I'm just going to call that the magic num, and I'm going to make that an int variable. So int magic num equals, uh, let's say, 6. So now Java knows the number that the user is trying to guess. So it's going to base all of its responses based on that. So we're going to put the rest of our code in a while loop because we want the program to be running as long as the user hasn't guessed the number. So in order to do that, we're going to make an infinite while loop like this, while true. So whenever you put true in the condition part of the while, loop, it's going to run whatever's inside forever. You have to make sure that the code has an exit point so that the loop doesn't run for an infinite amount of time and break your computer. But in this case, we're going to have the loop break when the user guesses the magic number. So that's fine. Our computers aren't going to break from this code. OK, first, we're going to have to make a scanner. This is what that looks like. So if, these, if you don't understand what this line is, don't worry about it because this is a really complex topic. They're called objects. So basically, just don't worry about it. Just copy down these lines of code because they're essential to allowing the user to type in a number. And then once we create a new scanner, we're going to prompt the user to type in a number. So system. just like that. So basically, we're telling the user to guess a number. Actually, it's not just any number. It's the number. So we're going to say, guess the number. OK. Then we're going to store whatever the user enters in a string variable. So string str equals scan dot next. Oh. This n is lowercase. So once again, don't worry about these scanner lines because they're really complicated. And all they're doing is just allowing the user to type in a variable and then store, or not type in a variable, type in a number, and then they're storing that number in a variable. And then we're going to convert that string variable into an integer variable so that Java can compare whatever the user entered with the magic number. So I'm going to call that user guess equals integer dot parse int string, just like that. So you don't have to worry about that line of code either. That's also a really complex topic. OK, 
Next, we're going to type in a bunch of conditional statements to check whether the mat to check whether the magic number and the user's guess are the same or different. So in order to do that, I'm going to type in an if statement. So if user guess equals magic num, then we want the computer to print out that the user guessed the number. So you guessed the number. And then don't forget the semicolon. And then we're going to break out of this loop if that's the case. So the reason we're allowed to break out of the loop is because the user guessed the number. So they're basically done playing the game. But if not, we're, we have to make sure that we address those conditions too. So what if the user's guess is actually greater than what the magic number is? In that case, we have to write an else if loop. So else if user guess is greater than the magic num, then we have to ask the user to guess lower. Guess slower, just like that. And then just for organization purposes, I'm going to type in an empty print statement so that basically all the code isn't squished together in the terminal. Okay, if the user's number is greater than the magic number, we're going to ask them to guess lower. But what if their guess is actually higher or lower than the magic number? Then we have, we're going to have to ask them to guess higher. So type in else, and then else doesn't require conditions. So we can directly type in the code, system.out.println guess higher. Because if the user's guess is too low, we want them to guess higher. System dot out print ln. And then this print statement is just to make sure that the code isn't squished together in the terminal. Let's delete this file because we don't need it. OK, now let's run the code and let's see if it works. So I'm gonna run the code. And it has to compile the code and then run it. Okay, so Java knows that the magic number is six and it's the user job, user's job to guess that number. So let's just start with four. No, four is too low, so we have to guess higher. Actually, let's put an exclamation mark here so that looks better, okay. Now let's guess or let's guess seven. That number is too high, so the game is asking us to guess lower. So let's try five, maybe. Nope, we have to guess higher, so six. And then it tells us that we guess the number, and that's why it exits the code, so that it's not running forever. So yeah, that's basically guess the number game. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Bye.